Hi, I have now switched to using Unreal Engine 5.2. Now, if you've been following along with my tutorials on, say, UE5 C++ AI, and you're using a version of the engine that is 5.1 or later, you should be aware that Epic have created a new input system called Enhanced Input and your project will be using that, which means some of the code will look different. However, you can still use the old system, although it is now deprecated and will be removed in the future. So the purpose of this video is to show you how to use the old system for the project that uses enhanced input. In the future, I intend to do a proper video on how to use the enhanced input system. But for now, this is just a workaround so that you can still follow along with my old Order tutorials. I've got here a standard third person C++ project. Now if we go to the project settings, if you remember under engine and input, you can add action mappings and axis mappings. Here it's saying this is all being deprecated and it's warning you to use the new system, but you can still use this for now. So as before, you can click on this plus button to create a new action mapping. I'm going to call that exit game so what i'm going to do i'm going to create an action mapping which maps to a button on the game pad which allows you to exit the game at the moment it's set to nothing so i'm going to set a game pad button which is going to be the face button le left now if you haven't got a game pad you can add another one which you can map to a key on the keyboard this is a bit useless because the escape key will already do it for you, but just for illustration purposes, you can do this. Let's choose um, X, I think. Don't have to save because it will save automatically. Now we've done that, let's have a look at the code. Now I've got open here the character class. The project is called Enhanced Input 1 and so the file for that is Enhanced Input 1 Character and I've got the header open here. I've tidied this code up so yours might look different and what I'm going to do is to add a new function that I'm going to call on exit game. I'll click on that and press Alt Return. I can create the definition and we need code in here to exit the game. And you issue a console command and we want quit that will quit the game we now need to set this up in code now in the old system they had a setup apply input component function and this is still in existence set to here now they've got this if statement which checks to see what kind of input we got so it's doing a cast to see if it's the enhanced input component but this is still a u input component as in the old system and so we can still bind the old way so this is the old way you used to do it this bind action function I think they've overloaded it. You've got two versions of it. So you've got the old version, which takes as its first parameter an F name, which is a string and an E input event, key event, an object, which is this and a member function pointer. This version here on the enhanced input component takes something else as its first parameter. It takes a U input action. The second parameter is different. You've got an E input event and they've got a E trigger event. The rest of the parameters are basically the same. This jump action, for example, is a U input action and there it is and same for move action and look action save everything I shall now try and do a think a build actually um, I'm, I'll do it from the editor there's this button here uh, by the way I switched off live coding which interferes with you building from your code editor which I find a bit of a nuisance so it's done the compile if I get my gamepad and run the project 
we can still move around and everything. Now if I press this button, it exits. I will test the keyboard for completeness. If I press the X key, oh, I have to click in the viewport, it exits. So that's it for this quick tutorial to show you how to still use the old input system if you've got a project generated by 5.1 or 5.2 of the engine.